Buddy, slay the princess. It is a love story, apparently. And we are going to be jumping right into that. Right now. Wrong, wrong screen. Oh, wow. There we go. Okay. I have Cheez-Its. I have beer. And let's see what this is all about. Chapter One, The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. How oh, fun. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Hmm. So, wow, we have so many options. What are you talking about? It's because she's locked up. Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Well, let's be sympathetic at first. While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she's dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. All right. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Maybe it's your accent, or maybe it's that you're talking down to me, but I don't appreciate the tone there, boss. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end, and there is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Okay. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. All right. Hmm. Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do, like, Nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? Bitch, I might be. Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. All right. I said thanks for telling me what to do. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What the fuck? New voice just dropped. Well, wow, I'm out of Cheez-Its. Better for content, worse for me. 
The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I guess we just kill her right away, right? You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I feel like I'm, I'm going to get in my feelings and want to not kill her. The door to the basement creaks open. Because I'm weak. Revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the. I just saw some art stills from this. If the princess really lives here, and heard vaguely of the concept, and I'm in. doing her a favor. Okay. Her voice carries up the stairs. Please don't sound cute. Who's there? Oh well. <laughs> she sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Yeah. Good. You're still listening to reason. We won't talk. Even though I want to hear her voice some more now. For reasons. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Guess we gotta, gotta just kinda gotta do it, right? Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. Hmm. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. If we accidentally speedrun this to actually if murder her- If you now, it'll be too late. End this. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Jesus. Oh. This is it, isn't it? I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, even as she lays there dying, she entirely believes herself to be alive and well. But it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments ago, that arrogant look still plastered on her face. But is it over? Really over. Hmm. You should have gone for the head. Yeah. Let's see. Of course it is she's dead. I'm not sure. I feel like she has some kind of trick up her sleeve. Of course not. That was too easy. It's over. Don't get all worked up. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? I really don't think you should do that. Okay. And why shouldn't we? Is there something you're not telling us? I've told you everything that's happened with complete accuracy. The princess is <coughs> dead. Your blade pierced her heart. There's no coming back from that. I call bullshit. You lean down and place your hand against her neck, holding your breath as you search for a pulse, even though you know you're not going to find one. 
We definitely won't if you keep talking. I'm sorry, do you want her to be alive? You just saved the entire world from annihilation. Why are you suddenly trying to call that into question? Wait, what was that? You know what that was. That was the sound of a heartbeat, followed by another, and another. I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Something sharp digs into your side, the shock of it sending your nerves into a pained frenzy. Well, apparently that didn't work out. <laughs> Quick, let's get out of here. It's too late for that now. You collapse to the ground as the mortally wounded princess twists a blade of her What's own over their deep fucking hands? your ribs. As you fall, she falls with you, exhausted by the effort, the little life that was left in her eyes fading rapidly. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. I I'm not sure. Now. By the way, what's up, Gory? How's it going? See you around. You were so close. Why did you hesitate? <sighs> it doesn't matter. At least you managed to take her with you. I guess. Whatever that's worth. Everything goes dark, and you die. Whatever bullshit this place is. Fair. Fair enough. Chapter 2, The Razor. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Are we just... I'm gonna set this to auto. You're here to slay her. If you don't... It will be the end of the world. I have the feeling this is going to go all kinds of fucked up. But I died. What am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead. And to answer your second question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull a knife out of nowhere and stab us again. Hmm. Stabbed to death? Well, you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. You said this whole thing would be easy, but after we sank our blade into her heart, she just got up and started stabbing us. Calm down. I assure you she has no weapons. So there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. We were made for this job. Okay, that's lore. There we go. Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Oh, this motherfucker here. We mostly listened to you. How were we supposed to know she'd spring back to life? Maybe. If she I'm not sure. Sprung back to life in this hypothetical I think it might be every iteration of me didn't slay gets a new voice, but depending on what I do. You've been given a chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. Okay. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We stabbed the princess, the princess stabbed us, and now everyone's right back to where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself, or were you instead transported to a different world entirely? Yeah, I'm thinking so. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? 
I guess we're gonna find out by not slaying Spring the princess. Is. Who cares what happened to everyone else? She's not going to play fair, so we should do what we can to save ourselves and just get out of here. At least you know not to trust her, but you do realize that everything and everyone includes you. That's what I'm saying. Right? If you turn around and leave, you're do <laughs> That's what I'm screaming. Well as Give me else. a Buick to run off a cliff. Take her out with me. We were so close to finishing the job last time. She can't get the jump on us twice. If we're careful, we should be fine. All right. That's the spirit. Just keep that stiff upper lip, and you'll save the world in no time at all. You know what? Let's explore some. Let's talk about this princess. Just be quick about it. Who locked her in the basement? People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. If the people locked her away, why couldn't they slay her? Why is this falling on me? Look, I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps, but it's just the way things are. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? If anyone's special here, it's her. Last I checked, we can't get up from a knife in the chest. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's press harder. You're being cagey. What aren't you telling me? I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. You didn't tell us about I wish her to be knife taller. last time, though. That's because she's unarmed. And more than that, it's because there wasn't a last time. Maybe not this tall. All she did last time was stab me to death. How can someone like that end the world? She just can. But she's still only a princess. You're fully up to the task you've been given, so long as you remember that. Alright, let's explore all the options. We killed each other last time around. How can I make sure that doesn't happen again? Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job, and save the world. I guess... Oh, and don't get stabbed while you're at it. Fair. That's all. Right. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. All right. A warning before you go any further. Yeah, right? Except for in an L-shape. Only knights can do that. Only the horse. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. It couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. I love this art style, though. I have to say. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess oh, of shit. warped wood and broken boards, their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You didn't say anything about the mirror on the That's wall. That's because there isn't a mirror. There's a table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. 
there isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all of this extra noise. I care. I want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. I care about whether I'm being lied to. As do I. I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes. There is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? Let you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. We're gonna look in the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But it was there a second ago. And now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this place. Okay. This cabin is different than last time. Very different. Maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. I did mention this is a horror game, right? Take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. It feels a bit better to have a weapon in our hands. Let's make her hurt for what she's done to us. Into the basement. Alright, sweetheart, let's hear that sultry voice again. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they've been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. <sighs> Kinda. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. That sound could be anything. It's probably just her chains dragging across the floor. I am begging you to get out of your head. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. Oh no, that bitch sounds like a speaking spell. I am so out. There is something so wrong with that voice. Yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody! Quick, get me out of these chains! We're not safe here! Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. If she sounds threatening, it's because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. You are armed, after all. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Let's talk this out. There you go again, talking up delusions about a past life experience that clearly didn't happen. Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm terrible at spotting lies, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that looped back to the start. Someone else has to remember, right? Yes, something is obviously up, and we can all tell that she's lying. 
the thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Last what happened? time? If somebody came into my house and stabbed me to death and then I killed him, surely I would remember that. Uh, hmm. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. I have absolutely zero doubts that she is going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. But you know who is armed? You. So stop second guessing yourself and do your job. Mm. But I'm nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. <sighs> Do we want a one minute poll to see if this, which option we're taking? Do we just leave, slay the princess, or approach the princess and try to free her? Let's see, can I run a poll from my phone so I don't have to break away? I haven't done that in a while. Nope. But, you know. You got it? I appreciate you. Mobile's a shit show. <laughs> I can raid somebody from my phone, which is weird that I can do that. I'll let that poll run. This is the only time I'm going to just let this be a uh, crowdsourced uh, thing. But Potato's real invested, so... You know. <coughs> I, guess, I guess we could ask her a question while we wait. Nobody has to die. Of course not. At least not now. Because you're here to save me. But you'll have to come close. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally decide you're ready to deal with her? Everybody vote. I want this to be as split as possible so I can't make a decision properly. <laughs> what? what do we got? Here it is. Jesus. All right. We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury right now? You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No, I have my dignity. Fine, and we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. Alright. Approach the princess. Of course I won't. Against your better judgement, you walk across the room to within arm's reach of the princess. I don't like the way you said, within arm's reach. You hear the horrible sound of metal slicing through meat. Whose meat? Not ours, right? Hers, at first. Then yours. Your neck, specifically. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> you collapse to the ground, your vision swimming as you attempt to focus on her bloody blade and the limp sack of flesh that was once her arm. What the fuck? going to die now. 
and with a quick jerk of her elbow, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. All right. You're on a path in the woods. No, fuck that. If we're going to have to keep doing this over and over and over again, we're not starting in that goddamn woods every time. We're starting in the fucking cabin. Of course you did, Potato. You're what? The interior of the cabin is sharp, a constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Ho 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 ho! I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? The circle's getting smaller and smaller. Running isn't an option anymore. We have to fight. What's the point of fighting if she's just going to win every time? It hurts being sliced to pieces. We're better off just sitting up here and doing- New voice just dropped! Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is damned to destruction, right? That can't be right, that's too much responsibility. I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. All right, I love this. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table. A pristine blade perched. We take it. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting me finish telling you it's there. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. <laughs> this feels right. We just have to keep our senses sharp. <laughs> That's right, we've got to be able to Pretty win much. eventually. And what if we never do? So? Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what doors are, right? But there isn't a door, it's just that mirror again. There isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. I can feel the air coming up from behind it, stinking of iron and steel. He might be right could be a trick. If our other senses can't feel it, then we can't trust it. Approach the mirror. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. No, the potato. We're not doing that again. Was never there. Just a We tried to help her once and she betrayed us. Now she can't be trusted. I mean, she couldn't be trusted after she stabbed us back. You know what? To be fair, we deserve that first death. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. I doubt that. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. Your body tumbles onto the basement floor and the form of the princess comes into view, standing at a distance. She gives you a wry smile. Hi, it looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. Oh, good. But don't worry about how bad you did last time. That's part of the fun. Fun for her, maybe. I didn't like dying all over again. Thinking about dying makes us as good as dead. The only thing that matters is survival. Actually, does survival matter? We've died twice and nothing bad has come of it. We just need to find a way to win once. Okay. Nothing bad has come of it yet. Plenty bad has come of it. You've left at least one entire world to ruin. The people there mattered. The past isn't real. 
There's only here and now. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. Her chain clatters to the floor. She's loose, and she is coming for you. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Shit. She's coming for us, and I'm out of ideas. All right, let's see. We're fighting her, obviously. We're going to appeal to her authority. Puff her up a bit. There's no reason we can't talk this out. Oh, that's easy. I'm going to try flirting with her. She has swords for arms, and we don't. We're panicking. We're going to fight her, and we're going to have a stiff upper lip about it. She can't hurt us if we don't let her... Yeah, she wins by killing us, right? So let's beat her to it. Or we can try to think of something better. Um, heads, we kill ourselves. Tails, we think something else. All right. Yeah, that's right. We just have to think. There's probably an answer if we think. Just standing there, huh? A bold strategy. You don't have time to finish your thought. In a moment, she's across the room, blades flashing in the dim starlight. She skewers you. Ow. What a surprise. Yeah. We don't even get a second to think without her stabbing us. Oh, a new one of us. I thought that only happens when we die. Did we die? Your Honor? No, you're in a... Where the hell are you? I think we're dead, and that's all we'll ever be. Dead, dead, dead. What is dead, going on? Dead. Stop saying dead, all of you. We might have died a second ago, but right now we're extremely not dead. This is all horribly wrong. How many times have you been here? This is four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. But I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay, whatever we do gets us another... us. Let's see how many we can stack. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. As long as we keep moving. Oh, great. So it's going to get even more crowded. Even more deluded voices that think we might stand any kind of chance. Come on, show me something new. Okay, plan now. Try flirting with her. It doesn't work, and she kills you again, and again, and again, and again. Your memory blurs as your consciousness leaps from life to life, holding only snippets of conflict that transpires. Compliment her on those gleaming blades. There's nothing better than a capable woman. She skews you. You're cute. Well, there's more of us. Let's see if that helps. We just have to hit her harder. She skews you. You'll have to be trickier than that. And then you skewer yourself. I thought we both understood that dying doesn't get you anywhere. Huh, that didn't do much of anything. We're tougher than I thought. Just panic, flee. She skewers you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. It doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. <sighs> okay, let's go again. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. She skewers you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. See? We're getting better. Okay, okay, yeah. That was a good one. Let's appeal to her better nature. We haven't tried that. 
I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Excuse you. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. I like the little parallax movement. Whenever I move the mouse, it's cool. You're right. One, One last, last time. time. That's all we need. She scares you. And then everything goes dark. And you die. Chapter 4. Mutually Assured Destruction. Your Honor, don't lose your head. We're in a cabin and we'll take it from here. Alright. That's quick. Everything feels like it finally fits, doesn't it? We're up here, which is different, and different is good. And our steel claw is already in our hand. Ho oh, ho! What if we throw it out the window? Over my dead body. That won't be very hard. We've died a lot. But I can't say I mind anymore. <laughs> oh, Besides, man. Besides, what better way to die so very many times than at the sharp hands of a beautiful woman? What the fuck? I'm sure I can think of a better way to die. Eh, they're all the same, really. How about we stop thinking about horrible ways to die? I don't want us to accidentally manifest anything. The only thing we're gonna manifest is finally ending up on top. There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... Yeah, leave it to the pros. We'll notch up that win in no time. Alright. Narrator, we heroically stride through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star cross. See, we, we flirted with her. That's why we got this douche voice. Fine by me. You walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only it's more of a slide. We know. Fine, I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care, just want to win. Fine, you make your way to the basement, where the princess awaits you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it, though. Just you wait, and not for very long, because I'm going to do it right now. What the fuck? Keep flirting? No! Do, do, do. Are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, D do you want me to talk now? Oh my god. It's not working. Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? <sighs> okay then. Here we go, now. Um, the princess's what? skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. And then it erupts. She becomes a wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Should we keep flirting? Hmm? Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! I've played Fear and Hunger. I got this. She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Yes, behold the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw her out the window? That looked painful. <laughs> Between class of 09 and this, I bet it was a trip. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating, that's all she needs. 
This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. Time to fuck a sword person. No, she no, even it's have not. Her back anymore. How are we supposed to stab her in it? This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. Maybe we can throw the knife into her chest. We screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Forget it. This all right, is all just a sick joke. Joke. What just happened? It's so quiet. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. Let's go. You do not act, and yet through that inaction, your body moves on its own. The princess strikes you as you approach, but as her blow finishes its arc, you're already somewhere else. You're incredible. Your weapons clash again and again. You and her entering a rhythm free of thought and free of self. There's only the dance, the ebb and flow, the shifting of the tides back and forth between you. Deeper you fall into your play, the faster your hearts pound, the faster the momentum volleys between you. An endlessly building crescendo, and then an opening. Your blade strikes free of volition, and hers strikes too. Both strikes are lethal. Neither of you will survive, but neither of you fear what's to come. This is a good ending. You do not get to see each other die. Something has taken her away and has left something else in her place. Approach the mirror. You do so. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach towards the glass. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. What do we look like? Are we like a bird? Crocodile man? What, what's going on here? We do have wings. Feathers. We have feathers and wings. I guess we're bird people. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Proceed to the cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Okay. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Okay, we have options. We're just going to explore while we can. The gift of a fragile vessel. Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the world's beyond. Perspectives to make my own. This one is sharp and single-minded. She is cruelty, but she is also joy. She will make for an indomitable heart. Do not mourn her. She is exactly where she needs to be. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Let her out of there. I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. 
Okay. I promise that it doesn't hurt. That's good. You know the narrator. You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. So we're inside a mirror? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here. And I too yearn to be free. Wow, okay. You know about the worlds beyond this place. I know only that they are. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope, as I witness you. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. Why don't you let forget? Everything. Until we meet again. How many more pieces of you do I need do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever. As we are now, unfinished, dry, hollow. I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. This is taking forever. I am forever! Ah, oh, dude, I fucking miss Aqua Teen. Okay. Make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Well. Everything goes dark. And you die. That is nuts. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. I need a second. That was a... Uh... I kind of expected this, but not like that. We're gonna have to buckle up for this one, huh? All right, uh, give me two minutes. I'll be right back.
All right. Sorry about that. I just wanted to move around for a second because I feel like this is going to be the rest of the night. Or at least for the next two hours. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? This is where I'm not going. Cabin, and I'm not going to the cabin. <laughs> I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish the coming of a new dawn uh, beyond our own. I'm gonna go walk the opposite direction now. There won't be a new dawn if the world ends. There'll just be nothing forever. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. Turn around again and leave again. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. No, okay. Good, maybe everyone should die. It's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. When I said everyone, I meant everyone. That's a pretty large group to just condemn to death over a single princess. And, last I checked, you're part of everyone too, so if you think about it, walking up to that cabin and slaying her is really in your best interests as well. But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but okay, I have I'm to gonna, say, I'm just gonna keep it seems like the universe does. itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation. I don't like with confrontation. We're running from everything. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. Don't care. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers what the fuck? weren't just a trick of light. All paths lead to cabin. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? You're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. Well, you lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Okay. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, 
All right. It will be the end of the world. But I died, the whole world ended. What am I doing here? I can assure you that you're not dead and that the princess has yet to end the world, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And to answer your question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. See, I don't know what ending I, I want to... I, I don't know any of the endings, so... Maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. He's like a captive audience. The entire world ending wasn't enough to get rid of us. I don't think there's much he can do other than object. I wonder what else we can do to ruin his day. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. Hmm. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet, and you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those oh. pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. <laughs> Lie. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore yeah. him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. I agree with the contrarian. Let's keep an open mind. Uh, proceed into the cabin. The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. But it's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there, such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. It sounds like there's several songs playing at the same time, too. Huh. The only furniture of note is a plain table. Its legs all the wrong lengths. Its material devoid of feature. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? Uh, man's been no, back. We're taking the knife. <sighs> Have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect, and no idea what we're dealing with. I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that. Not when everything here is so wrong. Listen, <coughs> my job is to describe facts as facts, and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess, and through that action, save the entire world. I'm just sacrificing princesses to, to her, the princess you collector. You cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if we lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Okay. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. Right. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job, so you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm, I'm in it. Good. I'm in it. This is now. Whenever you're this is ready, how geometry works. We're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look. But there was a mirror as and now it's okay. gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. We've already seen what we look like, which is grim. We'll take the blade. Take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Okay, fine, you took the knife. But you really shouldn't hold it like that. Then how are we supposed to hold it? The other way, thumb at the bottom. It'll look much cooler and more serious if we hold it with our thumb at the bottom. It really doesn't matter how you hold the blade, as long as you have it. Just make a choice. You know what, just for his Switch sake. Your grip on the oh, now. Congratulations. Wow, look. It actually changed my icon. Yes. Isn't this so much better? <sighs> okay, fine. You're right. This does look a lot better. It really doesn't matter. Just get on with it and deal with the princess already. Okay. <laughs> yes, do it. Seriously. Ugh, you throw the blade at the window, glass showering the cabin as your weapon flies out into the night. I suppose you'll just have to deal with the princess without it. Yep. We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What's the worst that could happen? The world ends. Been there, done that. I'm not so sure. This place is already messing with my head. It would be much better if we had a weapon. What's done is done. Good luck, hero. I didn't like that venom on the word hero. Into the basement. The door to the basement creaks open. Oh good. Revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odour that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Yeah, her okay. voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't be such a baby. No, thank you. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. Like whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his day. You know what, the contrarian? That's me. Take the harsh stairs to the left. You step to the left. The path is cruel against your feet, the impact of each step sending pulsing vibrations up your legs until there's nothing left in them to feel. The air around you grows cold the further you progress. At first, a barely noticeable drop quickly evolving into a numbing cold. Your toes feel like blocks of ice, your breaths puff out in clouds of condensed vapor. You shudder Jesus. against it as you continue down the stairway, losing yourself in the bone-deep chill.
you slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Okay. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal, skepticism and blind devotion, rivalry and submission, terror and longing, pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Are you just going to stand there? Huh. What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. Yeah. You're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. Though I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit. Try and get our bearings. She seems... normal. What's your name? You can address me as Your Royal Highness, or Her Majesty. Any honorific should do, really. You can call me Princess, if you'd like. As the Princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. I did get jump scared by that. We can do I... that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. What the fuck? It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. I mean... <laughs> uh, getting down here was weird. Like I was pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? What? Like you need me to hold your hand and tell you everything's okay? You're not really cut out for this, are you? Why are you even here? We're probably stuck down here forever, aren't we? There's no way out, and barely a way in. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. There's more of you. And now. what's that supposed to mean? Are you trying to get under my skin? I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. How would we even do that? Where would we start? We'd always start by retrieving the blade. The one he made us throw out the window. I wasn't the one who threw it. Oh, come on, you told us to. <laughs> Don't try to pass the blame now that it's come back to bite us. Well, if I'd known we'd be dealing with this, maybe I wouldn't have been so hasty with my suggestions. All right. Okay, this was fun for a bit, but... We can't even really interact with her, can we? What's the point of asking questions if all we're going to get is a million answers? Can't even follow what's going on anymore. We need to get out of here. 
This whole place is making me itch. Maybe it's because I'm dangerous. Okay. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. <laughs> Don't be coy. We both know why I'm locked away here. I'm a monster. And the second I get out of this place, I'm going to end the entire world. This is reaching its breaking point. If you don't act now, there will be nothing in here but her. Take a deep breath and focus up. You can do this. I think we can add one more princess. But how do we decide what to do? Can there even be a right choice when all of them are so different? Stop overthinking it. Your drifting thoughts have clearly been part of the reason this situation has gotten out of hand. If you're trying to do the right thing, there's only ever been the one option, and that option is slaying her. Just, just do something. Do anything. Do all of it, if that's what you want. This place is hell, and it's only getting worse. Okay, so we're doing all three at the same time. Wait, that's not right. Go on. You take a step forward. Your foot lands, but it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything witty to say? Um, you guys... Wit right now? I combined all the princesses to make a mega princess. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Ruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... ...falls apart? I think he's gone. We were never going to salvage this, were we? Yeah, I mean, but look at her. What, what happened, happened to, us? to us? What are we? What are we? There, are there are parts, parts of us that are dead, dead. and, and the others, and the others they, just they just don't fit. They just don't fit. We can feel them moving around in spaces, spaces they, they don't belong. belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable. Oh my god. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, can you pull, can us, back pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? We should help her. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. 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 Hmm, do I reassure her? I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. But she'll never know if she hears your reply. She's gone when he returns. She's gone? Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Oh, there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? Of course you're scared. This is the end for you, but it's not the end what for me. What is that supposed to mean? Whatever awful thing I felt before, it feels so much worse now. He's just messing with us. Right?
You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Does it change? Silent. It says you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Oh dear. You've grown. Find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to the cabin. You were at the cabin. Approach her. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality I don't and know. movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. The same being as you were before. How much have you changed? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern, but every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. What does it feel like to change like this? Eyes close in reflection. Perspectives meld together, and the breadth of my experience stretches to new corners. There are contradictions, conflicts in my nature, and there are familiarities that bind everything together. It feels correct. This is what I need to be. This is the only path forward. This is all done. Do you know what you want to do? Smash? With every gift you bring me, I excavate the alleys of what I am meant to be. And every exploration yields new and complicated truths. What I will be is different than what I am. What I am is different from what I was. Okay. I cannot tell you what desires I will hold when I have changed. But in this moment, all I want is to know myself, and to know you. When I go back, it's, it's as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Those paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now. Inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. You've been kinder to me than anyone else, else I've ever met. Why? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Time. Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Okay. You have any thoughts on this vessel? These ones are a contradiction. A winding kaleidoscope of paths and walks. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves.
What do you feel about me? The vessels I've been bringing you have hurt them. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but they are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them you are a gate to something more, and you are something more than that, too. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. They are not me. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. So you don't have any preference on how you'd like to change or grow? My preference is for you to show me what you would like me to see. I cannot know the ways I wish to grow, for I have yet to feel them. It is you who guides me down the thin trail of perspective and memory. How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky. And I yearn for more perspective. Okay. You will have your rest in due time. And I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Okay. I'm ready to go back. I will long for your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. your way up the short path. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. We're just going to silently slay the princess and see if that does a thing. The interior of the cabin is the blade. You take the blade from door to the basement creaks open. Her voice, Carol. Who's there? She sounds, don't let it fool you. Good. You're still listening to reason. You walk down the stairs. She's so focused on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. Oh? No talking then? Fine. What even makes you think you can kill me? I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that's so, you should just- She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh, this is it, isn't it? 
<laughs> I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder... Cold-blooded. <clears throat> do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. Yes, but it's over, isn't it? She stopped breathing moments nope. ago. But is it over? Yes, exactly. It's over. With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. I mean, but I don't... it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease Oh my god, potato. You need to go clean the pipes there, sir. You're gonna go to jail. But that day isn't today. The horny jail. Let's just get out of here. Also, stop using the word princess sussy. Or prince... Prince... Is it... Is it princess sussy or prince sussy? Stop using that word. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. <laughs> Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. Right. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. You'll be happy. This isn't an ending. In fact, now that the princess has been slain, endings are a thing of the past. No. This is the beginning of eternity. Your reward. This is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days or months or years or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just going to stay here forever, right? Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? <laughs> Good point. But... No, we're happy, I'm sure. Really? Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. The little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. happy. Forever. That sounds terrible. You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Oh boy, um, hmm, okay, maybe I'm not happy, and I'm not just saying that because you're the last person I talked to. Good, because I have an idea to get us out of here, though you're probably not going to like it. Mm. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. 
I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. He's right. It's the only way out. Do you hear that? I didn't expect it wants to take drawing. this happiness away from you. It wants this wonderful place to end. There's not even a bed in this cabin, bro. Do you bro. not? There's more for us to do, and the only way for us to do it is to take that blade and use it. Don't you dare. How astute. Hmm. You are absolutely correct. Using the blade to kill yourself would kill you, and you shouldn't do it. Fair. In a sense, we die, but looking at things from another angle, are we even really alive anymore? This place, it's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's just the same thing, constantly, forever. I know this is out there, but trust me, I know using the blade will work. That little voice didn't want you to slay the princess. It didn't want you to be happy. You better be right about this. I'll be pretty upset if we die, die. If we die, die? You can yell at me all you want. I won't be able to. I made this happy little place for you. Is this not a good enough reward for saving the world? An eternity of bliss? You, you ingrate. All right. Fine. Whatever. For the first time since time stopped meaning anything, you throw open the door to the basement and walk down the stairs. I have a feeling this is going to be bad. The princess's oh. body is dust Never and mind. bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first held it. You pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. The end. Nice knowing you. Okay. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. How many vessels have we given her? Just two, right? The stabby lady and then the all of the ladies at once. You're here to slay her. I killed myself. What am I doing? I assure here? you that you're not dead. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. Well, if for whatever reason you're going to insist that this has happened before, at least your heart's in the right place. Very different questions. Oh, wait, we've already asked that. Well, if, and I believe, what do you mean? We've already asked that. If it doesn't, just proceed to the cabin. A warning before you go in. She will lie. She yeah, won't. Yeah, yeah. We're just going to talk this time, all right? We're just going to talk. We're going to have a nice, relaxed The interior of the cabin is cold, a soft odor of dirt permeating the air. Cobwebs flutter in the corners. You can hear wind whistling outside, banging the shutters against the windows. The only furniture of note is an elegant antique table with a pristine blade perched on the edge. All right. The blade is your implement. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. You take the blade from the table. Let's see what we got going on here. I didn't check the mirror this time because 
The door to the know. basement groans open, revealing an old banister and a creaky wooden stairwell. Everything is coated in a thick layer of dust, and you can feel it settle into your lungs as you breathe in the stale air. The very building itself feels dead. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Okay. The room below is silent. Nobody's here, naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the I floor. I love that the narrator's confused. It's still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. It's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. And finally... The rest of the body floats up to join the head. Wait, this isn't right. What's going on here? A g -g -g ghost Oh. Wow. How absolutely terrifying. What's a ghost supposed to do to us? Okay. Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she has a body she's right there. That means we could kill her again. If we wanted to. Okay. Um. Kind of just want to see where this goes. I see you brought that annoying knife again. So, are you waiting for a chance to use it, or are you here for something else? What are you doing not being dead? There we go. <sighs> Nobody tricked you. And the fact that the princess's spirit has risen from the dead should be more than enough evidence that she isn't exactly sweet and innocent. I found it's something that would be fun. Fact. Let's team up. She's pretending. Ghost girl and grizzly bird man. I wouldn't say she's ever pretended to be sweet or innocent. She does have a little bit of an attitude, but I can't blame her. We did kill her after all. I wouldn't be nice to my murderer if I was killed. The fact that you apparently botched the landing isn't on the me you're talking to, nor is it on any other version of me that you've encountered. You're using a lot of words to say a lot of nothing. The enemy of my enemy. The princess circles you again, her icy fingertips trailing up your spine, sending shivers rippling across your flesh. I don't want enemies. I don't want to fight. I just want to go home. Is that really so much to ask? And just where is home, I wonder? I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from someplace far away. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How specific. <laughs> and how convenient for her. You see what she's doing, right? She's suggesting that the only way you can rid yourself of her would be to let her out. 
which, in case you haven't been listening, Listen. will spell the end of the entire world. We saved the world, and we were stuck in a fucking filthy cabin with a skeleton lady. All right? Had to do the old, uh, one, two, how do you do with the knife in the stomach, you know? So... You know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. Not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, let's see. If you can go through walls, can't you just leave on your own? I wish that's how it worked, but this place won't let me go. I've tried. Before you came back to me, I explored every inch of this place, even the spaces between the walls. But I never found a way out. I always wound up right back here. Maybe we should just leave. If she can't get out on her own, then why do we have to do anything? We could probably walk out right now and everything will be fine. Hasn't got out and can't get out are two very different things. That'd be dull anyway. It's more interesting if we make a choice. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hitch a ride. After all, Ah, oh, there it is. Absolutely not. Is she asking if she can possess us? She is. And I hope I don't need to explain why you can't let that happen. It would be catastrophic if she managed to escape this if place. If I let her in, is that like me getting pegged? If you pegged? let her in, there is very little anyone could do to stop her. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it. Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to say to the one who wants her dead Ooh. so, so badly. That's it. You won't like how things play out if you go down this path. Why, we'll die again? If I'm able to. But for all we know, that's not how it works. Maybe I'll wind up stuck with you for a long, 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 long time. If you keep talking like that, I'm about it. Don't much like the sound of that. It's crowded enough in here as is. It could be the best way to trap her for good. Doesn't seem like it would be very easy to end the world from inside someone else's body. So <laughs> cute, marriage. <laughs> Let me peg you and we'll get married. That is a very dangerous train of thought. It's just because she's the one going to be inside of us, not the other way around. You know what? Mm. Sure. Why not? That doesn't sound very reassuring. All right. I can't believe you're even entertaining her right now. I mean, just this look is... at her. Do you think she has good I'm gonna intentions her for me. her murderer's body? Of course she doesn't. Sounds great. Do it. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. You're really not trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. What are you doing? Don't just let her in. How many times do I have to tell you? <sighs> See you soon. She rushes forward and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs. 
your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? I'm afraid it's too late to stop now. The numbness gives way to a stabbing pain, your muscles twitching and convulsing violently, each involuntary movement causing more waves of agony to ripple across your body. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't, or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed to be you? Oh shit. Hey, I'm not a shard of broken glass, I'm... It's okay, you can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. You don't have to fight. We'll all be out of here soon. No, it matters. What we are matters. If I'm a shard of broken glass, then that raises some questions about certain other voices in here too. <laughs> cool, we exist. I'm clearly yeah. the same thing you are. They're not listening to me. Do they not listen to you either? No, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about him. You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from you. More important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a... memory than a person. That's rude. <laughs> you're kind of like me, actually. I'm just going to ignore her. You push yourself off the ground. The princess is nowhere to be seen. Obviously she's nowhere to be seen. He's in us. Because I'm in here with all of you. Everybody knows that. I'm setting the stage. The room is empty because you made a spiteful, idiotic, and all-round foolish decision. You don't have to let him get to you. You're better than that. You're starting to make things right. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just... Whatever you do, you can't leave this place. It's not too late to fix this. Probably. I can't think straight. There's too much noise. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. See, I want to trust her because her voice sounds very nice and friendly. Everything won't be fine and understanding. You listen to her. Maybe it's because Class of a Nine fucked me up with all their voices, but... One way or another, this is all going to end. Wouldn't it be nice if he ends with it? Wouldn't that be nice? There's only one way to find out. Leave the basement. <sighs> Your legs, weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, yeah, stumble probably. towards the stairs. You might be right. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. Wait, if she has a home to go back to, doesn't that mean that her leaving won't end the world? It doesn't mean that at all. It could mean that wherever her home is, it's outside of the world. Yeah, but it has to be somewhere, doesn't it? And if it's somewhere, then it's part of the world. I suppose it's all a matter of perspective. Where does the world end and something else begin? Does the destruction of one open a door to another? Or is it the same world reborn? Against the backdrop of the inane conjecture of meaningless little voices, your body continues its ascent up the stairs, staggering through the open door. Okay. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to stop us from leaving this place. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends too. 
No. She's an optimist, and I think that's precious. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you, and I will continue to hate you for as long as I am able. It's just the weight of it all. It's too much for me to do anything other than describe and dictate. And wine. This body wasn't made to hold you and the princess. If you want to renege on your cataclysmically terrible decision a minute ago, well, you're the only one that can make that happen. Trudge forward. You continue slowly to the door, your feet like lead dragging across the floorboards, growing heavier with each step. It's like he's describing that we can't move, so we can't move. We're so close. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we get out of here, I won't even care that you murdered me anymore. You lift your shaking hand and rest it on the door handle. But you pause before you open it, exhaustion sapping what's left of your will. Was exhaustion really the best you could muster up? It's over. There's no use stalling. Let's see what happens next. Shit. But exhaustion wasn't enough, was it? The handle clicks as you twist it, and then the door groans open. You collapse to the ground, you and the princess, free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, what's gonna happen? You look up and see. Is she just like straight up a lich now? Uh, yes. Nothing. He's gone, and so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. He had it coming, I suppose. But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? Did taking her out of the cabin really end the world? We're still here. Yeah, but that thing you said earlier, are we not part of the world anymore? Are we in some world that exists after the world ends, or on top of the other world but not in it, or have we never been part of the world? I don't know, bruv. Sorry. I... <sighs> if I hear people talk with a British accent for too long, I cannot help but mimic it in a condescending way. It is a disease. It's called being an asshole. I don't know how to stop it. Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. You feel the lightness in your chest as a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. <laughs> You actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, killer. Don't mention it. I think this is where I meant to be. That's number three? You don't get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory She's gone. returns. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a, a mirror? Why is it here? Why now? What you got, buddy? But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Posted in, um... How long is it? You don't need to comfort him. I'll see you on the other side. It's going to be okay. Okay. If you say so, we'll trust you. Whatever makes you happy. Okay, yeah, just post it in uh, memes or something and I'll take a look later. Approach mirror. I'm even making friends with the voices in my head. That's growth. Gaze into your reflection. And once again, the mirrors always makes them leave, but you need to see what's in it. You've withered. You find yourself in the long quiet once again. Proceed to cabin. You are at the cabin. Approach her. I am a growing chorus of contradiction. 
a mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new, and to look away is to reshape them yet again. All of me is changing, and yet the rest of me is still the same. Okay. Let's see, what do you think of this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much capacity for kindness. She will make for an understanding heart. Do not mourn her. She will finally be able to hold what she never knew. Aww. And yet my waters flow and my streets bustle. There are no words that can describe me into non-existence. There is no logic that can bind my multitudes. I am everything that you have known me to be, but I am also none of it. It doesn't matter how many times I go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change you? Doesn't that make you worse? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse, nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? really. It all seems so distant as soon as I'm near you. It does seem small from here. And the more we journey, the smaller each of those steps will be. But that doesn't make any of them less special. Do you know what happens to the worlds we leave behind? My perspectives are shadowed. You have seen what I have seen, just as I have seen what you have seen. The angles of my vantage do not offer me hidden truths, and my attention is turned inward, except when you are here with me. Perhaps this will change when our work is done. Let's see. Have you figured out what you'll want when we've finished? The desires of my multitude thrive in endless competition with themselves, but none of them rise above their dance to influence me. I yearn for what I have always yearned for, our awakening. Other desires shrink in the light of knowing you and knowing me. I still not care what I bring you next. I care about your gifts, but I have no preferences to burden you with. Even if I did, I would never dare to tarnish our relationship by assuming myself above you. Shit, that's a pipe dream. Let me get that. So you don't have any preferences on how you'd like to change or grow? The tides do not dictate where they are pulled. A river does not dictate its outlets. My gift to you is to let you choose your path, and my task is to treasure the gifts you bring me. How do you stand to be a contradiction? As easily as you can stand to be you. You are like me. Even if you have chosen not to look at the corners of you that do not fit. Even if you have chosen to ignore the brilliant contours of your soul. How many more 
vessels do I need to bring you? We will know when we near our destination. I'm ready to go back. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. All right. That is a good stopping point for right now. Um, yeah, that's Slay the Princess. We are going to be doing maybe more of that tonight. Maybe not. I enjoy it so far, but what I really enjoy, saying bye. <laughs>